Hey girl, hey, happy Saturday. It is gorgeous outside. Just so nice, considering we've been having all this rain. So, what I wanted to talk about today is I'm gonna show y'all how I prep my skin, prep my face um, before, hey Patty, um, before I apply my foundation, okay? Um, so I am literally, okay, I am like way at the bottom um, of my makeup, of my foundation pan, obviously. But you see there's some here, like there's still foundation here. Y'all, with this foundation, like this is this is a lot of foundation. You don't want to throw this away. So I have my spatula and I am literally, I went, I'm going around the edges of the foundation and I am scraping out <laughs> um the foundation that's in the corner of the pan because because this foundation is so pigmented like you see this this you could cover almost your whole face with this or you could cover your whole face with this i've seen i've seen makeup artists do it it's crazy um because the pigment is so high so a little bit goes a very long way so I think I pretty much got everything, and then what I'm going to do is, is I do have another foundation pan, which I'm almost out of this one too, but um, I'm just going to, let's see if I can do it in the camera, I'm just going to kind of pat it on the other foundation that's in here, um, and just smear it on there, so that way I do not waste a single bit of this foundation because that would just be so sad, so sad. So, I think I got everything out of my pan. Like, this is how I am with my um, dinner plate too, y'all. <laughs> but anyway, I got it all, got it all. So, throw that away, all right. There's so much more you can do with like, um, with this cream foundation as opposed to liquid foundation. And um, for many years I used um, liquid foundation just cause I mean, I didn't know of anything different. And um, now that I have this cream foundation, it's so nice. Like there's just, there's so much you can do with it. You can mix it with our due date and, um, and then you would have, um, you could actually turn it into a liquid foundation if you mix it with our due date, which is our face, uh, facial oil. Um, and then you can put um, your moisturizer on, uh, you know, put, put a squirt of your moisturizer and then mix in some of our cream foundation and then you have a tinted moisturizer. Um, so there's just a lot, there's a lot that you can do with it. So the first thing that I start with um, when I'm prepping my skin before I put my foundation on is I put my one drop wonder on my face, okay? Um, this is one ingredient, pomifera oil, and the oils um, come from the seeds of the Osage orange. Um, they're found in um, Ohio, okay? They're actually called hedge balls, and it's this um, fruit, um, and it, it almost looks like a brain. It's green and it's like, it has craters all in it. Like it, it reminds you of a brain. And um, people call it, um, uh, wait, hang on one second. I'm and then I actually do a third drop and I'll put a third drop straight on my forehead just because, um, I have y'all see I have I have deep lines on my forehead like I really I really need to um consider Botox but um anyway I just I'm always raising my eyebrows like anybody anytime I'm talking to somebody I'm just like uh-huh uh-huh yeah so but anyway okay so all you do and all I do is just press this oil um into my skin okay now the this oil is a carrier oil it's a low molecular weight uh, oil so it goes deep into um, the cell okay 
Now, now with that being said, with it being a, being a carry oil, I put that's why I put this on first, okay? Because anything that I put on top of this oil, it is going to bring that product deeper into my skin, okay? That's the purpose of a carry oil. So, the next thing I do is my Sotox, which is our anti-aging serum. And this helps lift, tighten, also brighten, um, helps reduce the sign, uh, fine lines and wrinkles, the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So of course, I put a generous amount um, on my forehead because there's a lot going on up there. And then, uh, sorry, there was a phone call. Um, and then I uh, put a good bit under my eye as well, around my eye, the bottom, because um, it really does help with crow's feet. You know, those lines that you get like when you smile. And then I get under my eye really well too. So. Okay. And then I'll put it all on my neck. I'll zoom everything on your neck, too. You want to bring everything down on your neck. Hey, Miss Kim. How are you? You're not working today? All right. All right. Now... I am going to take my skin therapy, which is our moisturizer for um, dry, normal to dry, mature skin. Um, now, in a minute, you're gonna see, um, I'll probably do maybe a little too much moisturizer, but the thing is, is that like my hair is very dry. I wouldn't say, I guess my skin is more, my, I don't know, I, I say my skin is probably normal, I mean, my, I definitely can use the moisturizer. Um, I mean, it just, you know, it, my face just soaks it up. You doing your housework? I was just about to ask. I was like, I wonder if this, this girl must not be working. She must have actually gave herself a Saturday off, which is awesome. You need it. <laughs> so, all right. Okay. Now, get that in. Now, I am going to use my sunscreen because our sunscreen is a three-in-one product, okay? It's a SPF 30, and it is a primer, a moisturizer, and, hey, Terry, a primer, a moisturizer, and um, a sunscreen, okay? So... I have been using my sunscreen as my primer. Okay. All right. Because um, our sun, our foundation does not have an SPF in it. So you got to make sure you put something on your face to protect your face. From the sun. Um, oh, and that's the other thing too. This, the One Drop Wonder it gets down, um, like I said, way deep into the cell, and it is a UV, it is a UV protector, protectant as well. So I'm really protecting my skin from this on, which I wish I would've, you know, did this in my 20s, been more self-conscious and um, aware and protected my skin in, in the summers when I was younger because, um, you ever see all those, um, like older women and I know we see them all the time. Um, oh, okay. So, um, let me just, before I say that. Okay. So the, the key with, uh, the sunscreen is after you put it on, you want to just let it sit. Okay. Just like I'm doing, just let it sit, um, for about 15 seconds or so, because then you, then you work it into your skin and what it does is it gets tacky when you let it sit like that. And 
be with, with the tacky with it getting getting tacky like that that's what helps keep your foundation on so that's why it works very well um, as a primer okay so usually I'll let it sit you know 10 I let it sit 10 15 seconds I'll put my lip balm on um, and then sometimes I'll go and do my eyebrows but a lot of times I'll like end up messing up my eyebrows trying to rub that in so I don't do that but what I was gonna say is I know I've seen you know older women like I'm talking 70s you know 80s and they can't you know see them and um, their skin is flawless flawless like I mean hardly any wrinkles and just just you know their complexion is just flawless right you talk to those ladies you talk to those ladies and I guarantee you you ask did you spend a lot of time in the Sun and I promise you they're gonna tell you no my grandpa's sister my aunt Hilda her skin was incredible and I mean she was she was well in her 80s um, when she passed away and but I'm telling you, her her skin was just beautiful, gorgeous. I'm I have more wrinkles or I have more lines on my forehead than what she had. But um, but she never went out in the sun. She never spent any time out in the sun, and so that's why it's just so important to protect um, protect your skin from the sun. And I always nail even if I'm you know um, at the park with the kids or wherever i am i don't necessarily have to be at the beach or the pool out in the sun but wherever i am now i have a baseball cap on i have something to protect my face all the time and i'd never walk out the house without any um sunscreen on my face anymore either and i've actually been doing that for quite um for 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 years now um definitely before harper was born so probably like eight eight almost ten years now I have been doing that where I put sunscreen on my face every day so it's definitely a good practice to get into okay so now that I have all my stuff on my face that I want um I'm going to take my setting spray now I learned this from a makeup artist so I have put my moisturizer and everything on now I am going to put setting spray on okay and I'm gonna tell you why. The setting spray, what does the setting spray do? The setting spray basically like locks in your makeup, right? It sets it um, and it keeps it in place all day. Our setting spray actually keeps your, I mean, it does, it keeps your face, it keeps your makeup on all day up to 16 hours. Um, so you do the same, I'm doing the, I'm essentially doing the same thing with my moisturizer. By putting my setting spray on, I have now locked in my moisturizer and set my moisturizer in, okay? Um, so, cause we were like, wait a minute, why are you, why, why with, with the makeup artist, we were like, why, 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 why'd you put uh, setting spray on, you know? And that was her, that was her explanation, explanation. So I thought it was, um, really cool. So, all right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on. So I have my dampened blender full. And um, I'm debating, I think I'm gonna try our diffuser brush and see how it goes with this foundation. Um, I've never been really, I don't know, I've never really used brushes um, to apply foundation. I've always just used my fingers, but that's not always the best way, so. I love my Blenderful sponge, don't get me wrong. Love it, love it, but um, I don't know. I was just gonna try the brush and see. All right, so another thing that I saw a makeup artist do, and he had our foundation. Well, he didn't have our foundation. So he had he had RCMA foundation. So our foundation is um, manufactured, it's, it's RCMA foundation, okay? Um, and if you say, oh, I use RCMA foundation to any pro makeup artist, they're going to be like, what? Oh, that stuff is awesome. You know, pro, there it's, this stuff's been around for decades since the 1950s. So makeup artists love RCMA foundation. It is used by many professional makeup artists. Okay. And that's why they say, 
our makeup is professional grade makeup. It's not because, you know, there's some secret thing, you know, some secret thing about it. It's just, it's preferred by professionals, by makeup professionals. And that's why um, we can call it, we call it professional grade makeup. Um, so y'all saw what I did. Okay. I just put my finger, I put some on with my finger. Okay. This way by doing this, putting it on my skin with my finger first, I'm allowing the foundation to warm up. Okay. I'll put some on my neck too. Because that's the other thing too. That's the key also to a nice even application um, is to warm your product up before you put it on your skin, okay? So if I wanted to, I could take my little spatula and I could scoop out some of the foundation on the pan and put it on the back of my hand and just kind of, you know, work it in the back, smear it on the back of my hand so it just stays there, you know? And then I could use, you know, I could dip a brush on the back of my hand and work it in my skin that way. Um, either way, that is the best for a nice even application is you want to, you want to warm the product up first before you put it on your face. Now, of course, if you put it on the back of your hand, then, you know, some of the product is gonna, is gonna go on, you know, go into your skin or go on to your, stay on your skin. Um, but that's the thing with this foundation though, it doesn't, it sits on top of the skin. Or if you have a makeup palette like this, then you could take, you scoop out with your patula, spatula, some of your foundation, and put it on the end of your um, palette here. And I couldn't think of the word, and then work off your palette. And this is cool too, because then you can mix stuff on here too. If you wanted to mix two different foundation colors together, you can, you can do that as well. So, um, all right, but now that I've put it on, now I'm just gonna take my blender full and I'm just gonna work it in here. Okay, just like so. And then if you feel like you need more, then of course you could always add more. That's the beauty of this foundation as well is it's, you can put it on in layers. So you start light and then, um, you know, light, start light, buff it in, work it in. And then if you feel like you need more, then um, you can always add more because it's, you can put it, you can do as many layers as you want, okay? Um, I prefer a dampened blenderful because um, I don't really need a whole lot of heavy coverage. If you're somebody who just likes a light coverage, then dampening your blender full is the way to go. Um, if you need more coverage, well, then you can use your blender full dry, and that'll give you that'll give you more coverage. Okay. A brush using a brush will give you a little more coverage as well. But. It's just, and this foundation is so lightweight, you just don't um, feel like you're wearing anything. You wanna make sure you go into your hairline with your foundation, okay? And then you wanna make sure you come down your neck because you want everything to match, okay? You want your face, your neck, and even this part here, which always tends to be lighter on people because our head shades the sun from hitting this part of your neck. So you wanna make sure you bring your foundation down, all the way down. I bring it all the way down here. And then that's why you match your foundation to your chest color because your chest, all this, and your face, everything matches. And that's what you want. Okay. And I think that looks pretty good. I think that's all I need. And I really do like, so I never, so what I would do, and, I, um, and I've been doing this for a while, um, I would take my pan and I would take my blenderful and I would just put my blenderful in my pan and turn it so, and then apply my foundation. 
but I'm gonna tell you, um, I really think I prefer putting the foundation on with my finger, just how I showed y'all, and then going back and blending it in because it really does. It makes the foundation easier to work with um, when it's, it's warmed up. So, what? And that is it. Oh, you want to make sure you get in the um, in the crease of your nose as well, too. Okay. So, and I totally need to put on my eyebrows. I'll show y'all my eyebrow pencil real quick. And um, I'll do one eyebrow. I don't want to be on here forever. All right. So... Eyebrows, I just comb them with my little brush here. Um, I always start by combing them upward because when you comb your eyebrows upward, it makes them appear more full, okay? All right, and we have our Claim to Fame eyebrow pencil, which it has its own little brush um, on the end. I really like this brush too. It's a little more stiff than most um, eyeshadow brushes, eyeshadow brushes, uh, eyebrow brushes that I've used. So I really like it. And then it is a pencil that you, you twist the product up out of the top. So there's no sharpening or anything like that. And then when I do my eyebrows, I start at the bottom and basically draw a diagonal line from the beginning to, cause you see right here, y'all see how this area is very sparse. Um, so I start here, and basically here I'm defining my eyebrow because I draw a diagonal line from the beginning to my arch, which my arch is supposed to be right here. I don't have much of an arch either, either so I have to create one. Okay. All right, and then I after that, I fill in the tail of my brow. You want the tail of your brow to be darker than the beginning of your brow, okay? And then when you're filling in the tail, you just basically follow the, um, hey guys, hey, 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 hey. Sorry, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Just a little thing piece of foundation. Okay. Um, all right, so I'll fill it in. I'll follow basically how my hairs lay when I'm doing the tail of my brow. Okay. Um, just get right here. It's okay if you see skin through your brow. That's natural. That's that's what your brow that's how your brows naturally are. So that's okay. You don't have to sit there and get every little you know, um, color in every little part that you see that may be showing skin. Okay, now, when I come up to the front here, then I start using short upward strokes. You see that? And that creates hair like, makes it look like there's hair there, okay? Just like that. And then I got a little bit of a gap here that I like to try and fill in with some color. I've got like two little hairs at the very, very beginning that have grown back that are awesome. All right. I think that looks pretty good. And then what I'll do, of course, you always want to prime your eyelid. So you got to think, okay, priming, it's just like um, any, you know, even if like painting and stuff, you know, you prime your walls. So it's the same thing. It's a blank canvas that you're working on, so you prime it. 
Um, so I will take, this is my, con my concealer brush, and I will clean up along the bottom of the brow if I need to. And then also to adding Concealer Zero, which I use as a highlight to the arch of my brow here underneath, really gives your arch a lift. Okay. So. All right. I think that looks pretty good. And that's just with the pencil. Pretty quick and easy, eh? I think so. I think so. So, anyways. And then also, too, you can go on top if you've, you know, if you got any on your skin. Okay. You want to make sure the tail of your brow comes down, too. To the, um, to the outer part of your eye there. Okay. So I'm just going to bring this down a little bit more. So. All right. Doesn't that look so much better? <laughs> My eyebrows are like very thin and I have sparse areas. So this definitely looks so much better than this. So I will do the other one on my own though. Um, thank you all so much. Thank you girls. Thank you girl um, for watching. And I hope y'all have a great rest of your Saturday. Enjoy. Ta-da.